This is the story of two young guys, bound in friendship and in destiny. Ronald and Skinny, as often happened, went out for a picnic together to spend the day in the neighborhood countryside. Suddenly, Ronald pulled a couple of little plums out of his basket and gave one of them to his friend. Mmm, delicious. Deliciously lethal. <laughs> Note how the slow motion makes everything more epic. The boy's corpse stayed there for hours, enveloped by blades of grass, until all of a sudden, something happened. A new spark was instilled in Skinny's body, reduced abruptly to a skeleton, and slammed him inside Ronald's wardrobe, cursed to watch over his friend for the rest of his days. Or at least until today, when our story starts. Morning, sunshine. Hi, Nat. Forgive me, but I didn't sleep very well tonight. Are you sure you really want to talk to him? I have no other choice. He'll have a heart attack if you ask me, and he'll end up keeping you company in the wardrobe. I really hope not. Do you know where Ronald's gone? Everybody left a couple of hours ago, but I don't know where they went. They were all very nervous. I don't know why exactly. It'll be the usual sale at the mall. The Mother Superior must have straightened them up as usual. When will you stop eating those things? Would you care for some, maybe? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm allergic to plums? Just looking at them, I'm getting hives. Man, you don't have any skin at all. And anyway, they're nuts. Otherwise, why would Ronald have given me this name? He probably just wanted to be... alternative. You're a lost cause. Hasn't Ronald spoken yet? You should know that by now. He hasn't said a word since you died in front of his eyes. I don't want his soul to be damned forever. If that stubborn guy won't open his lips for himself, I'll take steps to loosen his tongue. Don't hurt him too much. I have to run to the bathroom. All this excitement loosened my bladder. I like this room. Start here then. Put the little pet in the van. In the meantime, I'll prepare the boxes in the living room. And don't do it like last time when you got hit by a car while loading the stuff. There are colored books on the walls. But you don't even know which side a book opens on. I like colored books. Do you know what I don't like? Working for free to pay for broken things marked fragile. Do you understand? This carpet. It's soft as a marshmallow. I like marshmallows. <laughs> I should have listened to my dad when he told me to be a florist. Ah, I really needed a shower. Boss, it won't open. Let's keep working on the ground floor then. In the meantime, I'll ask the lady about a key. I'm afraid this damn move will take longer than expected. Move? And what should I do now? I'm coming, I'm coming. Apologies for the delay. I was late with a tutorial of another video game. Players are not what they used to be anymore. Let's uh, cut to the chase. I'm here to explain the game controls to you. Well, I'm not interested. I'm not asking you, Skinny. Let your player decide. Perfect. Let's start with the basic commands. The mouse left click is used to move around your surroundings. Holding the right click and then releasing it on one of the available actions, you'll interact with the elements of the scene. Try with the chainsaw. Don't ask any questions, believe me. Skinny, try to be a little more accommodating. This is a tutorial. Now try to open the green satchel.
It was the wrong interaction, but don't worry. This is used to pick something up. I would like you to open it instead. There is something inside the satchel. Try to pick it up. Ma, there's gold in this here bag. Ah, no. This is pyrite. Don't be fooled by appearances. It could be more useful than you can imagine. For some hotspots, there's only one action available. So a left click with your mouse will be enough. Try to check out the bin. Was this really necessary? The player asked for our help. It's important to learn the game controls. Now let's take a look at multiple choice dialogues. We already saw them on our own. These constant delays are embarrassing. Well, what else? Holding the central button of the mouse, you'll see all the hotspots with which you can interact. With the mouse wheel, you'll open and close the inventory. That's all. And now if you'll excuse me, I'm in a rush and I've got to go. Is that it? I never saw such a sloppy tutorial. You're right. It's just that I'm busy like you wouldn't believe. See you soon. Not worth it. I've been through so many troubles, but luckily I still have my sanity. Too bad the same doesn't apply to the person I'm talking to. I sense trouble. You've probably already figured out I'm not exactly an ace. In my defense, you have to admit that it's not easy to throw without real joints. You're embarrassing. That's it. I'm okay. But thanks for worrying about the well-being of my intestines. Skinny. You don't even have intestines. That's not true. I'm simply constipated. Listen, little van, don't move until I find a way to get out of this house. Capiche? One of the countless houses of the Wayne family. Mr. Wayne is not often seen here in the city. He never stops by to talk with anyone. That house has been for sale for years, but nobody has ever seen the owners. Nor is it clear if the mysterious Mr. Richards even really exists. The Murrays are really very nice people. When we were children, Ronald and I often played with Cooper, but after the divorce, he went to live with his mother. That must be the van of the moving company. I absolutely have to find a way to get in there before they finish and leave. I knew I should have taken that correspondence driver's class. That's not a dinky toy. It just looks small from up here. That must be the van of the moving company. I absolutely have to find a way to get in there before they finish and leave. My wardrobe! I can't be separated from my wardrobe. It's a matter of life or death. Well, I mean, you know.
Man, what an epic fail! Do you think this is the right moment to play games? Do you think this is the... I suggest you avoid careless moves if you value your skin. I already lost mine a while ago. I can't and mostly don't want to touch it. It's a sort of big ball of dust. And who the hell are you? Have some respect, stupid bony human. You're looking at the future conqueror of the world. <laughs> Only dumb characters in this game. Don't laugh, that goes for you too. Jumping Jiminy. Not me. I can't jump. I have no legs. And my name's not Jiminy. I meant, where did you come from? From under the hardwood floor. I was stuck there for years. But now I'm finally free and will have my revenge. <laughs> Listen, not to curb your enthusiasm, but you look pretty harmless to me. What? I mean, you don't look blessed with any particular abilities or of great intellect. Or any intellect. You can't expect to get very far without a well-constructed plan. Ah, you're right. Think about it, okay? Who would be your nemesis? The Swiffer? I don't know any Swiffer. Forget it. I have to go. Bye. I confess I've always been curious. An ending so unexpected. Ah, uh, um, just another small interruption to tell you that it may sometime be possible to pick up the same object more than once. Another belated circumstance where you show your negligence, but thanks for the tip. No way, those two guys are still down there. I'm already conspicuous enough for my skeletal appearance. Just imagine a drug put... I mean, an herbalist skeleton. A disaster I made with some apricot marmalade years ago. I never understood how Ronald's parents could think it was Sigmund Freud's face. Two hundred and one times is more than enough. Let's just say I'm not exactly interested in the item. I don't want any trouble. Wise decision. You have to understand the bear is convinced he's married to the duck.
think you can put everything that pops into your head inside my ribcage. Have you seen boss? I opened the door. Bravo, well done. But now let's go, it's lunchtime. I like eating. Then come on, move. What a blow.